Seth Abramson is a lawyer and political commentator. He joins us now from Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. Uh, your reaction to uh, Johnson's testimony? Well, the first thing I want to point out is that Russia would not have to have switched votes during the 2016 presidential election for them to have had an influence on the outcome of the election. It would have been possible for there to be an influence, particularly in the critical states of Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, if those thousands and thousands of Russian bots that posed as citizens of Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania did have an influence on voters in those three critical states. I think we have to remember Mr. Trump only won the election by 77,000 votes in those three battlegrounds. Uh, if they were not trying to uh, influence uh, the actual number of votes, what, what were they trying to do? Well, I think it's very clear from the intrusions, the cyber intrusions in the fall of 2016, that the Russians would have liked to have influenced the outcome of the vote in Mr. Trump's favor. Uh, if they could have accessed the voting systems in those 21 states to actually change votes, I'm sure they would have liked to have done that. It's not clear that they have the capacity to do that yet. They may try and do that during the 2018 or 2020 elections. But I do think they wanted to influence the outcome through essentially a propaganda campaign to influence discourse in American politics, to include fake news in political discourse in America that would be anti-Hillary Clinton and pro-Trump. So I think there was a clear attempt to influence the uh, results of the election, maybe not through vote switching, but again, that could happen in 2018 or 2020. Uh, what do you think the United States has to do then to try to pr prevent or limit the, the influence of, of any kind of Russian hacking? Well, I think that Jay uh, Johnson was very clear, the former head of the DHS was very clear today in his testimony that America's electoral infrastructure must be officially designated as critical infrastructure. If it gets that designation, it will get the money and the protection to make sure that it is secure. I think he was also clear that the Trump administration needs to create a coherent cybersecurity defense strategy and policy, particularly with respect to Russia, something that hasn't happened yet, perhaps in part because the president himself has not yet conceded, even though 17 U.S. intel agencies say so, that Russia meddled in the 2016 election and did so uh, in his favor. You know, it seems like from his testimony that we learned that they discovered this uh, sometime in July. Was there enough made of this intrusion at that time, or did they just wait, and why? Well, one of the things that we heard from Mr. Johnson and that we've heard from other ex-Obama officials is that they were very concerned about being seen to themselves be attempting to influence the 2016 presidential election. And so I think they were very cautious about notifying American voters about what was going on. There were a few in American politics, particularly Harry Reid, who tried to sound the alarm publicly in the late summer and early fall of 2016. But in terms of Obama administration officials, I think there has been some criticism about whether they could have been more forthcoming about what was going on. I think if we can be candid, what is being said behind the scenes is that many in the Obama administration, like many political analysts, thought that Hillary Clinton would win the election, and there was a, a real concern about a Democratic administration being seen to try to influence an election at that point in the fall of 2016. Seth, another thing that jumped out at me about his testimony is that he said very clearly that this was ordered by Vladimir Putin himself. And Vladimir Putin has said, I had nothing to do with this. This could have been just, you know, Russians out there feeling patriotic about their country. Well, Vladimir Putin, we have to remember, is one of the world's top spies. Uh, I don't think we can say what he says at face value. I think U.S. intelligence agencies and everyone who's testified before Congress has been very clear that Vladimir Putin was involved in the intelligence operation against the U.S. in 2016, whatever his denials may be. And again, here I have to underscore that the real concern now for many of those who follow politics in the U.S. is that the one person who appears to believe Vladimir Putin's denials, or at least uh, is open to the possibility that Mr. Putin is being honest about Russia's involvement in the election, is the president of the United States. I think that's a real concern for a lot of people. Seth Abramson, uh, lawyer and political commentator. Seth, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you.